this story is called Minnie's Origin and Rise to Power by Ainsley04 Home. Minnie was a young, brash minotaur who loved terrorizing the farmers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to learn about a very unknown, a very underrepresented, a very underdeveloped hero named Minnie the Minotaur, who is a female Minotaur. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Crow, that's not possible. Female Minotaurs are cows. And you are technically correct, but this is Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And there are no cows in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Therefore, we are allowed to have a female Minotaur because in this universe, in this world, there are female Minotaurs. Because if there weren't, how would we have baby Minotaurs? How would we have a population of Minotaurs if there were no girls? So we're going to learn about Minnie, who is a female... <laughs> Even saying the words female Benetor is weird for me. And we have a whole bunch of farmers, and this is how our story begins with Minnie terror. Oh my god, that poor hobbit got destroyed. Terrorizing the poor farmers with her horns, completely goring them. Going up on this harvester right now, Minnie. How you doing? Giving her a hug. Oh, that's sweet. Very good. She's a loving Minotaur. Guys, Minnie doesn't want to hurt you. She just wants to show you love with her, her horns. Now, there's an obvious horny joke here. We're not going to make it. We're just going to completely skip that as Minnie continues to thrash about. Did she grab stuff? Is she grabbing onto these? Oh, that farmer got destroyed. Sorry, Mr. Farmer. Or was that Miss uh, uh, Harvester doing the grabbing there? The Hobbit jumping. Whoa. Whoa, where did the Hobbit go? Hey, how did you get way over here? Oh, your head bashed off the rock. I'm so, so sorry. Minnie, you need to love more gently. That's not how you gently love Minnie. Due to her terrorizing the farmers, she often got in trouble with the local police. Here we are in the lovely ancient realm. Minnie's no longer on the farm. She's on the ancient realm. We're in a beautiful city. Here, we often find the police. And the police are usually represented by Renaissance factions. But today, they're represented by the ancient faction. Though, when you think about it, it makes a lot more sense considering this is the ancient realm. I mean, look, look. His helmet matches the helmet on that statue over there. This is their home. And Minnie, you've got yourself into trouble, young lady. I told you to hug them gently, not with your horns. Now, I'm inclined to try and save Minnie here from those sharp pointy things. Look at all these sharp pointy things. So Minnie, you should come with me. Come on, Minnie. Back up. No, 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 no. Stay away from the sharp pointy things. The sharp pointy thing is going to hurt you. Stay back here. Wow, she's really eager. She really wants to get in there and fight. But now I may have, um, I may have, oh, never mind. She gets in there. Gores punches that one, dude. That's not how you love. Minnie, you're a minotaur of love. A minotaur of happiness, a minotaur of passion. And you are being way too aggressive. Oh my God. She's got this. She's beating one guy with another guy. Are you kidding me? Now she's using the other dude as a human shield from this one spear person, one Cerisa. There are three Cerisas left. Minnie continues to beat them with the friend. Oh, imagine you're just a simple police officer and you're trying to keep the peace and your name is Phil. And imagine you're another police officer and you're just trying to keep the peace and your name is Bob. And Phil and Bob are best friends and now Phil has to deal with this rampaging, loving Minnie the Minotaur who's beating him with Bob. Poor Phil. Oh, he dropped Bob. Me dropped Bob and just body slammed. Poor Phil. I'm so sorry. One day, Zeus came to Minnie with a proposition. Ooh, so Minnie is here. Um, only one problem. Minnie is now blue. Never a good sign for our loving Minotaur friend. And over here, we have Zeus and his small army. And Zeus is looking very handsome, looking very dashing, very daring. And Zeus has a proposition for Minnie. So what is Zeus going to tell Minnie what's the offer I think let's, let's have a theory here so Minnie has been fighting these people back to back to back is Zeus gonna offer Minnie some peace and quiet is Zeus gonna offer Minnie a break from all the fighting or is Zeus proposing death we'll find out well what's about to happen is Minnie's gonna charge in get surrounded by all of these hoplites and it's just gonna be too much for our hugging loving Minnie who is now surrounded on all sides. She's got two hoplites in each hand, or one hoplite in each hand, and she's thrashed them about. You poor thing. You poor thing. Zeus says, Minnie, you've proven a great warrior. Fight for me, and I'll give you luxury and freedom. And Minnie responds, okay, but first, let me kill this halfling. What? Minnie, you don't kill halflings. 
You hug them. You love them. You're a loving female Minotaur. And Zeus, you, you did the exact opposite. Well, I expect I thought you were going to give Minnie a break from all the fighting, but instead, you're going to make him fight for you? Minnie, if I was you, I wouldn't take this offer. I would just hold the chill out and just relax. And you poor, poor defenseless hobbit. Why is it always the hobbits, guys? These guys are the, the, the laughing stock of totally accurate battle simulator. It's height prejudice. That's what it is. They're prejudiced because he's so short. You look down on this hobbit, don't you? Because you're so tall. You're one of the tallest units in the game. And you stare down upon this lowly hobbit. And you're like, you are so short. You are beneath me. I thought you were better than that, Minnie. I thought you were... Oh, my goodness. That was freaky watching Minnie charge me. And... Yeah, the poor hobbit. Sorry, buddy. Minnie was assigned the rank of general, but wasn't a natural leader. As she often charged through her own men. Yeah, that's a... That's a bit of a problem of having Minnie in the back line. Guys, don't, don't put Minnie the Minotaur in the back line. She wants to hug people so bad, she will push through all of her friends to be the first to do the hugging. And who is this over here? Is this General Rocky? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Or is this the Night Crow? I'm going to think General Rocky, because the Night Crow... Oh, but these could be the priests that gave the Night Crow his god powers. That's awkward. It's either General Rocky or the Night Crow, depending on who's telling the story. But then again, this person doesn't use either of them. So this is just a random knight, according to this author. Minnie, try not to trample your friends too badly. Here we go. Just, just, just take it easy. Take it, take it easy. Minnie, you're going to go through like six people. Oh my God. Minnie hit three of her friends and two of her enemies. All in one shot. Go, General Minnie. General Minnie, get in there. Oh. Oh, General Mini is causing mayhem, and now these... Oh, you just bowled over Phil! Remember Phil from the last one? You bowled over Phil to get to these priests, and Phil is not looking good. He's got a bloody nose, he's got a black eye, he's got a concussion. Mini, Mini, your love, just tone it down. Zeus was at war with King Philip, but wasn't prepared to launch a siege until now. Question, why is Zeus at war with King Philip? That's a great question. Sometimes... We write these stories. We just kind of leave things. We leave the threads hanging in there loose. Why? Why is Zeus motivated to go to war with King Philip? Has King Philip wronged Zeus somehow? Has he insulted him somehow? Maybe King Philip dated Zeus's daughter. Uh, maybe. Or maybe it's in fact King Philip who's mad at Zeus. Maybe as a god, Zeus did not provide the support to King Philip when he needed him. Hmm? Maybe? Maybe? Long story short, for some reason, but we don't know, these two people are fighting each other with their armies. And now we have lovely Minnie on the side of Zeus. General Minnie, don't ever forget that, everybody. This is General Minnie. She has a rank. She deserves your respect. Now, hopefully, Zeus's forces will prevail here because they're red. And as we know, red must win. The Knights have charged in the cavalry. General John! Hey, long time no see. How are you, my lovely cavalry friend? How are you doing today? Please don't kill uh, General Mini. I know you're a general. General John, General Mini, you guys fight each other to job. Oh, that ballista just destroyed this knight. Oh, you poor thing. King Philip moves in. Uh oh, King Philip moves in on General Mini. This is not looking good. King Philip's probably going to have a big old sword swing. And he kind of missed. Come on, General Mini. I know you don't have a healer. I kind of I kind of want to help General Mini here, eh? Kind of want to like... Wait a minute. I can be her healer. General Mini will not die. General Mini will be... Oh, uh, no. General Mini died. I was just starting to heal you. No. You know what? Vengeance on Sir King. Oh, it's because I was targeting the blue team. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, King Philip, you need to die now. I'm sorry. Right, vengeance. Vengeance for Mini. Even though it was, it was kind of my mistake. I was healing the wrong team. If I was healing the correct team, Mini would have survived. Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, it seems like the red team is doing a fantastic job as this poor priest runs from these hot fights. Here, allow me to assist you with that. What's going on over here? Oh, there's a General Rocky still alive. Not for much longer. And an Archer not alive. Not for much longer. Uh, victory for Zeus's faction. Minnie should have survived if I knew what I was doing. Philip saw Minnie's strength and challenged her to a duel. Here's a great question. Who would win a fight? King Philip or General Minnie? Part of me wants the General Mini because of that huge charge attack. And if she can grab onto King Philip and prevent him from swinging that giant grape sword, it could be okay. On the other hand, King Philip does have a giant great sword. That's a, that's a thing. Let's see who wins in three, two, 
one, go. Battle starts. Mini goes for the charge, hits him right in the knees with the horns, and uh, King Philip swung the great sword and missed completely, flopping onto the ground. Can Mini get a hold of King Philip? Oh, almost had a hold around the neck, punched in the face, and the gore missed. Sword swing right into the waist. Ooh, hit with the flat side though. That's not so bad. King Philip with a sword swing. I don't know who's gonna win this, guys. Looks like Minnie's got a hold of King Philip. Ah, King Philip. That sword right to the neck of Minnie. Not so good. Hey, King Philip. Minnie wants to love you. So now you want to love Minnie. Um, no, wait, wait. King, your, your majesty. Your, 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 Minnie's behind you. I don't know where his majesty's going, but he's chasing his love somewhere. And Minnie continues to try and kill him. I don't know what King Philip is doing. What are you what's going on? Oh, uh, King Philip is going to walk right off the edge. I know what happened. It's because he had no one to love. There were no other blue units here. So instead of being stricken with un unrequited love, he, he jumped off the cliff. The locals got rowdy and started rebelling. Zeus sent Minnie to put a stop to this. So King Philip is now dead, and now the locals are getting a little bit rowdy. They don't like Zeus's rule. He's kind of a dictator. He kind of like decrees, this is how things are gonna go, and this is what I say. So Minnie is now moving in and charging on these poor farmers. You know what? I'm starting to feel bad. They're just farmers, Minnie. They're just farmers. Used to be such a loving, happy Minotaur who charges walls because you're very awkward. Used to be a loving, happy minotaur and now you're just causing violence over and over and over why can't you just love people zeus chose to spare the rebels many saw this as a sign of weakness and decided it was time for a change so now many is not too fond of zeus's perceived weakness and i'm putting big old air quotes there you can't see weakness so many is about to come up on zeus and be like hey zeus i don't like your attitude and zeus is like i don't like your attitude either so here we go, Minnie with the big old headbutt on Zeus, knocking Zeus down onto the ground. Minnie's now stuck. Uh, you're the red team, Minnie, and you're the blue team, Zeus. And I have to make sure the red team wins. I'm so sorry, Zeus. But could you just catch on fire? I know it's a really odd request, but uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> how far he went. He's a spherical pincushion of fire arrows. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Minnie was the new ruler of the ancient faction and decided to attack the dynasty faction as they were a threat to her new rule. Really, Minnie, you're afraid of the monks. You're afraid of the dynasty faction. I see you've got yourselves a whole bunch of healers. Do you know what these healers are really about? Do you even understand the significance of these priests? No, you don't. Of course you don't, Minnie. Because you're so obsessed with power now that you stop to take a moment and realize that these priests are from the dream realm. You don't know that. I know that because I'm the storyteller. You don't know that. You're just a character. And the dynasty. Oh, they've got a samurai giant. I don't see the monkey king though, which is surprising. This is his people. And the monkey king seems to be strangely absent from this engagement. As we approach, the ancient faction moves in and a whole bunch of watches fire and dragons fire. Friendly fire from the watches hitting the dragon. This dragon flying into the sky. Oh, a firework arrow just sent that dragon flying and he's gone like crazy. A whole bunch of red hoplites still alive. Hoplites fighting monks one-on-one. -on -one. Hoplites falling into the pit of death. Probably a bad idea. There's a lot of blue team here, including the samurai giant, including Huaches in the back. We should uh, deal with these Huaches before they decide to uh, open fire on our troops some more. There we go. Burnt Huaches are now dead. And this samurai giant kind of want to take him into the pit of death hi if you would be so kind as to come with me that'd be great just just uh come into the pit of death come on down come on down it's beautifully warm and comfortable down here it's great you you'll love the pit of death come on down <laughs> it worked bye 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 the battle continues to rage up here. There's a whole bunch of blue units still alive and a whole bunch of red units still alive. Some hoplites on the ground as the samurai sensei leapt over the hoplites into the water. Is that a sensei or a shogun? There's a shogun. Shogun's in the water. Shogun's gonna drown. Try not to drown. He's leaping. He's jumping. He's still alive. Oh, no, he drowned. Oh, no. He's still alive. How is that possible? Here, allow me to uh, put you out of your misery. He's afflicting my watches. How dare you? There you go. Now you're taking care of my friend. 
All these priests are healing these ballistas over here who are put in a really awkward position. There's a handful of ninjas and a handful of archers left alive. That's not a ninja. That's a sensei. Hello. How are you? How about you just free? <laughs> I'm so sorry. She then attacked the Vikings. Bjorn is here with Euler and Helga. And Min the Minotaur is thirsty for her quest for power. Gone is the happy-go-lucky Minotaur. Gone is the Minotaur of love that just wants to give everyone a hug. Now, she is a brutal combat general. And she's been struck down by Euler. Serves you right. But the problem is, Euler, she's on the red side. I need her to live. So if you could just... Just, just chill out. Just go for an adventure. Go for a ride. And Bjorn, buddy, pal. Um, you gotta go too. Sorry. Hi, Bjorn. Hi. This is not looking good. Helga's coming in on my ballistas. Can the ballistas fire in time? That ballista's not gonna be ready. Helga, have a Larry potion. I know you're pretty intimately familiar with the potions. Enjoy. Let's get shot by the ballistas. Yes. Confusion. Right here. Waiting for the ballista. Nope, 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 nope. We're not losing. I refuse to lose. Oh, the ballista shot at the head of his Viking, and the ancient faction barely wins. Euler was a strong warrior, and many liked him for it. You liked her too. So they got married. So let me get this straight. Minnie, the combat general, decided, you know what, Euler, you are a strong opponent. I will marry you. I'm not sure why I'm talking about that. And Euler was like, you know what, Minnie, you are a strong opponent. I will marry you. I don't know why I'm talking about that either. And Cupid is here like, you know what, guys, you guys are strong opponents. I will marry you. And that is actually the voice of Cupid. Did you not know? That's how Cupid sounds. So now I'm going to help Cupid because Cupid's going to have a hard time. He was probably gonna die here. I now pronounce you God and Minotaur. You may kiss the bra. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's just wrong. Uh, Cupid, I gotta end this fight. Sorry, buddy. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. Crow, angry with Minnie's tyranny, resurrected the dynasty leaders Bjorn and Zeus. So they decided to attack Minnie's new mansion, seeing the army in front of her, Minnie readies hers, but she doesn't expect to have a traitor. So Minnie is here, and uh-oh, Euler looks like the traitor, guys. Euler is in red, and Minnie is in blue. Didn't they just get married? Minnie's armies are here, and look who we have on the side of good. We've got King Philip himself with his armies looking fantastic. Over here, we have the Monkey King, Lady Red Jade, the Sensei, and the Shogun. Over here, we have Zeus and Mr. Death himself, as well as General Phantom. The Pirate Queen Kira and Captain Kyle with their pirates. And Bjorn, Helga, and Larry with the Vikings over here. Let's begin this battle and watch the great betrayal of Euler on Mini. Mini goes in for the headbutt charge. Misses Euler, takes him out by the ankles. Euler unable to throw his axes because Mini tripped him like that. Mini is in on Euler. They're brawling. They're fighting. Euler throwing axes, dealing damage to himself, freezing himself. Upside down does a flip continuing to try and throw axes at Minnie, but Minnie's got him by the knees. He's got him by the ankles. He's not able to throw if Minnie won't let him. Euler throws two more axes. They're both frozen solid. Minnie almost a mini-sicle goes for another gore. Hits Euler, who is still alive, about to throw another ice axe at poor Minnie. Minnie should be frozen solid by now. Any moment, no, no. Euler is down. Over here, the battle rages on. The armies of red have done a phenomenal job wiping up all the armies of blue. All that's left is Minnie and her ballistas, but there are way, way too many units here. The ballistas open fire, nailing a whole bunch of units. Mr. Death is still alive. A sword caster died in the back over there. Zeus is alive. Captain Kyle is alive. It seems like a lot of the Vikings have died. What happened to Larry and Bjorn and Helga? They don't seem very good. Captain Kyle. Moving in. Is he going to... Oh, Bjorn's alive. Cannon opens fire, destroys a ballista. Cannon opens fire, destroys a second ballista. Captain Kyle coming in with his gun. Destroys a third ballista. Oh, Minnie. Minnie, 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 Minnie. Where'd she go? Hi, Minnie. Oh, Minnie's still alive. Guys, Minnie is still alive. I've seen a dragonfly. I've seen a housefly. But I've never seen a minotaur fly. <laughs> oh, she landed on her own mansion. Are you kidding me? And now it seems that the forces of good continue to wipe up the battlefield, destroying the very last of the ballistas. And now it seems that they're after Minnie. Somehow, in the course of this massive battle, Minnie is the last unit alive. How fitting. How ironic. Minnie is harpooned, struck 
by a whole bunch of attacks and rendered dead in a throng of her enemies. Zeus forgave many, and peace was restored to the Tab's world once more. But a new threat arose. It was that Hobbit again! Are you kidding me? Zeus, how, how can you forgive General Minnie? She turned on you, she killed you, she defeated you, and then Minnie, how can you believe Zeus? Oh my God, what happened to your neck? How can you believe Zeus won't turn on you now? And why are you back here? Shouldn't you be running away from people telling them you instead of everybody telling them the Hobbit wants to defeat the poor Hobbit? Hobbit lives matter too.